inshallah this is the first class of m set derivatives or differentiation i request all the students to first go through the formulas because how much you are perfect in the formulas that will be easier to solve the questions okay so i request to revise this formulas okay what is the formula d by dx of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 similarly you must have this in our mind d by dx of x is 1 d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and d by dx of root x is 1 by 2 root x this all derived from this formula d by dx of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 d by dx of log x is 1 by x d by dx of e power x is e power x d by dx of a power x is a power x log a d by dx of sin x cos x cos x minus sin x tan x secant square x cot x minus cos x square x secant x secant x tan x cos x minus cos x cot x how to be I have by heart these two are this sine and cos are same type tan and cot are same type second cos are same type and the thing is how we have to be at plus minus plus minus plus minus alternate plus minus plus minus and the same formulas for sine hx cos hx tan hx what is the difference first three formulas we have positive sine hx formula is positive cos hx formula is positive tan hx formula is positive the next three are negatives cot secant cos same formulas for sine hx and sine x only the difference is the of the signs so we must by heart this also and now see here the diff inverse formula is also very useful d by dx of sin inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square cos is negative sin positive cos negative tan positive cot negative and secant positive cosec negative and lastly you see these are the formulas of uh, next one is sin h inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 plus x square cos h inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square minus 1 like this i request you all first you go through these formulas few more formulas is there after that we will start the questions now we know the product rule d by dx of uv is u d by dx of v plus v d by dx of u if we are having three functions we can also denote like this uv whole dash equals to uv dash plus uv dash v and next one is d by dx of uv w is uv d by dx of w then u w d by dx of v plus v w d by dx of u means once we are exp differentiating v w then v then u now quotient rule when we are dividing some functions we have to use this this formula is v d by dx of u minus u d by dx of v by v square also we can do one thing we can write like this also v u dash minus v dash u by v square if some functions comes like this base also x variable power also x variable or base and power consist of x and y then we can use this formula d by dx of f of x power g of x equals to f of x power g of x into g of x into f dash x by f of x plus log of f of x into g dash x so these are the few formulas if some other concepts or concepts comes in between inshallah we will see there so let me start few questions based on this formulas now see here before going to the questions suppose if you don't have the basics of derivatives i request you to uh, practice the questions of part one from inter first year if you go into the playlist inshallah you will get the part one derivatives from playlist inter first year you go into the playlist inter first year part one and part two you will get the basics of how to solve the differentiation questions okay if you know the basics of inter then no problem if you don't know the basics of inter first you go to the part one and part two of the inter first year derivatives from my channel okay now you see here we have to find d cube by by dx cube what is given here y equals to cos of 3 cos inverse x you see here 3 cos inverse x its formula is cos inverse 4x cube minus 3x we can write like this watch carefully y equals to cos of 3 cos inverse x is cos inverse 4x cube minus 3x square this is the formula of inverse trigonometry okay you have many formulas there you must by heart this formulas this formulas will be used in here in derivatives okay so this cos cos inverse will get cancelled y equals to 4x cube minus 3x just to revise recall this one you know dy dx of x is 1 dy dx of x square is 2x 
x cube is 3x squared x power 4. What happens? The power will come here. 4 will come here and degree will reduce by 1. 4 means here 3. 5 means 4. n into x power n minus 1. n into x power n minus 1. So 5x power 4, 4x cube, 3x squared, 2x divided of x is 1. Now we have to differentiate this 3 times. Now let me start dy by dx. So d by dx of x cube is 3x squared, 3 fourths or 12x squared. d by dx of x is 1, 1 into 3 is 3. Differentiate one more time, d square y by dx square. If you differentiate second time, write like this, d square y by dx square. This is called second derivative. If you again differentiate x square is 2x, if you bring 2 here, it will be 24x. Constant differentiation is 0. But we have want one more time differentiation, so d cube y by dx cube. If you differentiate one more time, d by dx of x is 1, d by dx of x is 1, 1 into 24 is 24. So the answer is first bit. Now you see the next question, very easy question. Just you know the formula 3 sin inverse x can be written as sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube. You see these formulas, all formulas will be useful here. These are the formulas of inverse trigonometry. You go into the inverse trigonometry of inter first year, you will find all these formulas here. Or you can see my uh, YouTube channel in inter first year playlist. You go into the inverse trigonometry, you will get these formulas. Okay? If you don't know the formulas, now watch here d by dx of sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube is nothing but 3 sin inverse x. 3 is constant, you can write offset 3 sin inverse x. Finish. 3 into d by dx of sin inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. So this will be 3 by under root of 1 minus x square. You see, yeah, I just recall this one. 2 sin inverse x. This is sin inverse 2x into under root of 1 minus x square. Two cos inverse x. This is cos inverse two x square minus one. Two tan inverse x. This is tan inverse two x by one minus x square. Just now we have seen three sin inverse x is sin inverse three x minus four x cube. Just before the question we have seen what is three cos inverse x. Three cos inverse x is cos inverse four x cube minus three x. 3 sin inverse x. This is, sorry, this is sin inverse 3x, sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube. Few more formulas 3 tan inverse x. This can be written as tan inverse 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus 3x square. And you see here sin inverse under root of 1 minus x square. This can be written as cos inverse x. In the same way, cos inverse under root of 1 minus x square. This can be written as sin inverse x. So let me do the questions based on this. Okay. So you call this, revise this form as we are going to use this in the next question. Now you see the next question d by dx of sin inverse. If you take LCM, also, I am writing like this, 3x by 2 minus x cube by 2. Now, see here, we, we know the formula sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube is 3 sin inverse x. But if you see here, it's not exact formula, okay? So, let me change little. You see here, suppose if you put, put suppose x equals to, x equals to, for instance, put x equals to, suppose you take 2y, x equals to 2y. So this will become sin inverse 3 into x is 2y by 2 minus x cube is 2y whole cube that will be 8y cube by 2. This 2 will get cancelled to 1s are to 4s. So this is sin inverse 3y minus 4. This is 4y cube. Now we can write this as for the formula equals to 3 sin inverse y. Now, in test of y, we can write x by 2, bring this 2 here, bring this 2 here. So, we can take like this d by dx of, you take out 3 outside, sin inverse y. y from here, if you take x by 2. Now, let's use the formula. What is the formula of d by dx of sin inverse x? Its formula is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. So, you write 3 as it is, d by dx of uh, sin inverse x is 
1 by under root of 1 minus x square means the whole square. So this will be x square by 4 into, again we have to differentiate d by dx of x by 2. If only x, no problem, d by dx of x is 1. But again we have to differentiate x by 2. So d by dx of x is 1 by 2, this will be again 1 by 2. So let me solve it in this one. See here if you take LCM 4 into x square, 4 x square. See here, next, next step. 3 divided by, if you take LCM 4 into x1, 4 x4 4 minus x square. Now you take out this denominator 4 from the root. If we take out this 4 from the root, it will be 2 into 1 by 2. This 2 will be in numerator, so you can cancel this 2 to. So what is left here? 3 by under root of 4 minus x square. 3 by under root of 4 minus x square. So this is the first bit. Now see a very easy question. You know tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So y equals to so this will be cot inverse of cot x. So cot cot is inverse will get cancelled. What is left here? Y equals to x. Now differentiate this dy by dx equals to d by dx of x is 1. d by dx of x is 1. Now see here what we have to find cos inverse 4x cube by 27 minus x. Just now we have done like this question. Put x equals to 3y then you will change this into the formula. So this will become cos inverse 4 into x cube means the x cube will be 27y cube. 27y cube by 27 minus x is 3y. So 27, 27 will cancel. So this is left as cos inverse 4y cube minus 3y. Now we got the formula. This is 3 cos inverse y. 3 cos inverse y. 3 into cos inverse. Now you take y from here. y will be x by 3. So this will be x by 3. Now we have to differentiate this one. So we write 3 as it is d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. This square x square by 3 square is 9. Again we have to differentiate this also. So d by dx of x is 1, 1 by 3, this will be 1 by 3, 1 by 3. This 3, 3 will get cancelled. What is left here? Minus 1 by, you take LCM, 9 into 1 is 9 minus x square by 9. If you take out this 9 from root, it will be 3. Bring this 3 in the numerator, this will be minus 3 by under root of 9 minus x squared. So this is the answer, minus 3 second bit by under root of. Now you see the next question, very easy question. This is watch carefully. d by dx of cos inverse x plus. Just now we have seen the formula sin inverse under root of 1 minus x squared is cos inverse x. So cos inverse x plus 2 cos inverse x is 2 cos inverse x d by dx of 2 cos inverse x you do write 2 as it is now d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square no need to write 1 here minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square so this is the answer now you, you refer this formula very important formula differentiation of f of x with respect to g of x Differentiation of f of x with respect to g of x. Differentiation of f of x with respect to g of x. Its formula is f dash x by g dash x. f dash x by g dash x. Dash means differentiation. What is the question? The, the derivative of this with respect to this. Suppose this f of x. So f of x equals to cos inverse 2x squared minus 1. And suppose this has g of x cos inverse x. So what is the question here? Differentiation of f of x with respect to g of x. Its formula is f dash x by g dash x. Now let me differentiate this one. Okay, just we can use the formula now. f of x equals to this. Just we wrote the formula. Cos inverse 2x square minus 1 is 2 cos inverse x. Now differentiate this f dash x. d by dx of f of x can be written as f dash x. 2 as it is. d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. Now differentiate this one, g of x differentiation is g dash x. This will be minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. What is the question? Differentiation of f of x with respect to g of x. This is nothing but f dash x by g dash x. So what is f dash x? It is minus 2 by under root of 1 minus x square. 
and g dash x is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. So the denominators will get cancelled under root of 1 minus x square. This will get cancelled, minus minus will get cancelled. What is left here? 2. So the answer is a bit. Now you see the next question. We know the formula sine 2 theta in terms of tan is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. And tan 2a is 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a. Sine 2a in terms of tan is 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square a. Now you see here what is given here tan y equals to 2 t by 1 minus t square sine x equals to 2 t by 1 plus t square. Now how to do this? Suppose you put put t equals to tan a. So what will this become? Tan y equals to 2, otherwise I will keep just theta, 2 t theta. 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta is tan 2 theta. Tan 2 theta. You cancel this tan tan y will become 2 theta. Now here you see sine x. 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sine 2 theta. So sine 2 theta. So this will become sine sine will get cancelled x equals to 2 theta. Now what is dy by d theta equals to 2? dx by d theta equals to 2. Now what will be dy by d theta? Sorry dy by dx. Watch carefully d by dt of theta will be 1, 1 into 2 is 2, d by dt of theta is 1, 1 into 2 is 2. Now dy by dx formula is, you know, in, in the numerator we are having y, so we are write dy by d theta. In the denominator we are having x, so you write dx by d theta. It is the formula. dy by dt, dx, in terms of theta, we can write dy by d theta by dx by d theta. So this is 2 by 2, this is 1, okay. So the d bit is now you see the question. Now this is the question based on substitutions. Okay. Suppose if you put x equals to cos a, then we'll get the formula is 1 plus cos a. Now we know multiples, submultiples, 1 plus cos a is 2 cos square a by 2. 1 minus cos a is 2 sin square a by 2. Now just let me solve this one. Sin square cot inverse. So this is under root of 1 plus cos is 2 cos square a by 2 by 2 sin square a by 2. So 2, 2 will get cancelled sin square cot inverse. Now watch carefully cot by sin is cot square root cancel get cot a by 2 cot a by 2. Now cot inverse cot will get cancelled you left with sin square a by 2. Watch carefully. Cot, cot inverse will get cancelled, you left with sin square a by 2. Now we know the multiple, some multiples, there is a formula for sin, sin square a by 2. The formula of sin square a by 2 for multiple, some multiples, 1 plus cos a by 2. So this will become 1 plus cos a by 2. Now we know the value of cos a is x, so this will be 1 plus x by 2. So actually we have to find the differentiation of, after solving this we get this, so this is 1 plus x by 2. So d by dx of 1 is 0 constant. d by dx of x is 1 by 2. Now you see the next question if y equals to sin inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square then dy by dx equals to dash. Actually these are the substitution questions. If you put x tan a you will have one form the 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is cos 2. 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square is cos 2. So let me start like this, put x equals to tan a. So y equals to sin inverse. 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is cos 2a. You see here y equals to sin inverse. Watch carefully. Sin inverse, if you have here sin, sin inverse, sin will get cancelled. So you have to change this cos into sin. So cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta. So cos theta can be written as sine 90 minus theta. So this sine or sine will get cancelled. Y equals to what is left here? 90 degrees minus 2 into A. You get A from here. Bring this tan here. It will be tan inverse. So A will be tan inverse X. A will be tan inverse X. Now differentiate this one. 
differentiation of y is dy by dx 90 constant 0 minus 2 into d by dx of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square so 1 by 1 plus x square that is minus 2 by 1 plus x square that is the way so today we have done few easy questions okay let me continue in the next part inshallah derivatives inshallah so i will give the link of the uh, derivatives of inter first year basics if you don't have the basics you can see that the link in the description okay so inshallah we will uh, request you all to subscribe this channel share with your friends and like it okay inshallah we are going to continue in the next class